Welcome to another episode of Blind Kid Plays Fallout New Vegas. I'm Elliot, the Blind Kid. I am Jim, the Seeing Eye Mutant. Yes, yes you are. So, if you uh, haven't watched any of our previous episodes, go watch them right now. But if you have, uh, let's recap. We're Cyborg. Yes, we have a shit ton of implants. Let's go over to our perks right now. Do -do -do. Agility implant. <laughs> Brainless. We have a synthetic brain, but you know, it's kind of an improvement. <laughs> uh, endurance implant. Heartless. We have a synthetic heart. <laughs> implant C13. Eliminate Cazadors. Yeah. Implant GRX. This gives us chem. <laughs> we have an implant that just gives us drugs. Drugs. Ah. Uh, implant M5. It increases our uh, sneaking movement. Nice. Implant Y3. Uh, attack the liquid. Yeah, this removes all radiation from whatever water and shit we drink. Nice. Um, and plant Y7, this increases the health gained from food. <laughs> That's good. Uh, let's see here. Luck implant. <laughs> Monocyte breeder, this gives us temp gives us a f small regen effect. Uh, perception implant. Do, do, do. Spineless. We have a synthetic spine. <laughs> Subdermal armor. This, like, increases our armor just by giving us tougher skin. Nice yes, we have iron there. in our skin. All right, those are all our implants so far. The only the strength ones we didn't implant, do is... perception implant, endurance implant, all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, the only ones we didn't do are smart and charisma because I like being a sub brick misanthrope. Yeah. So how many caps does this cost us to get here? Ninety thousand, I believe. Ninety thousand caps, plus the shit we got for free and through like level up. Uh, against our will. Yeah. Anyways, let's go off west here from Scorpia Gulch, where I just got done killing a lot of rad scorpions. Ooh, let's see if I can eat them. Go west, young man. Devour puny insect. <laughs> we couldn't do that on the fucking big mountain, but we could do it here. Well, yeah, because everyone thing was a robot. Devour puny insect. Yep, we have devour puny insect. They're heading westward from Scorpion Gulch, looking for our friends who have abandoned us since we went to uh, Big Mountain. <laughs> They've all uh, <coughs> eaten more, huh? Mm -hmm. Another bark scorpion hunter. He's hungry. Oh, dead prospector. We're gonna eat a human. <laughs> <laughs> He's gorging himself. Mm. Anyways, further westward here. We're going to find some shit, probably. We have found Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley? It's a place in Australia that they race, uh... Well, they have a V8 supercar race there. Oh, red blips. What's a red blip? It's a bark scorpion. Let's throw a stick of dynamite at it. Okay. Really? It didn't kill it. <laughs> that was pathetic. I like the sound of the lighter. There, that got the bark scorpion. Eat it? As long as there's no more coming. Devour puny insect. 
This is awesome. And we have Wild Wasteland, which I kind of, I looked it up and saw what it was. Basically, black humor. Yes. That's what the game originally contained, the first couple. And they tried removing some of that for the third one. People bitched, so this was their compromise. Make it a trait. Yeah. We need to design a fucking game that's like our style. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd rate this a good 6 out of 10. Oh, this is fun as hell. Yeah, but I mean, it could be so improved. That was another bark scorpion. Oh, there were a couple red dots here. They all disappeared. Maybe I killed more than just this one. Kill them all. Devouring puny insect. <laughs> we are cybernetic. Yes, we are. Yes, we did kill another one. It blew up over here somehow. I don't even know how that happened. We missed one in uh, Old World Blues. We, we missed one that was a Venture Brothers reference. Uh, one of the uh, uh, Wild Wasteland perks. Oh, I didn't find it. I didn't know where the it was. The Walking Eye. Oh, damn. That was a Venture Brothers that. reference. Which I thought it was, but... <laughs> of course, uh, Doctor right. Zero is... There are a bunch of bumpers in here. This has a bunch of spray paint on it. Ban the bomb, peace symbol, happy people, heart face. Uh, nice little do not nuke sign with a bomb in the middle of the do not sign. Love, peace, peace. Oh. All war is the bomb, peace, SMD. Hang on a second. Sorry, I just puked. What were you saying? Anyways, we go inside the bunker. It's nice and airtight. That's wretched. Yeah, that was just the outside of the place. Okay, we're in here now. There's a bunch of crates inside this bunker. We just came downstairs. It's obviously a bomb shelter kind of place. Ah, uh, let's, let's look at this. There's an intercom. You hear nothing. Peace sells, but who's buying, motherfucker? Hello? You hear nothing. Okay, fine. Ah. Uh. Pick this door, it's very hard, okay. Kiss my ass, you hear. Fuck you! So let's break out our locksmith reader. <laughs> Read that. Will this do it permanently, or...? No, this just gives us a temporary plus ten. But Man. we're able to pick this lock now, so we're just gonna pick this lock. Doo -doo. Right. Picking the lock. Picking the lock. There we go. We open this lock. It opens into a nice other part of the bunker with a bunch of, like, makeshift barriers. I mean, these are actual good barriers. Shit that, like, people would have manufactured back before the war. This place is so without ruin in here. This is a nice concrete box we're in. All glory to Armco Steel. Hello? Anyone in here? No answer. Fine, I'll pick your lock and open your door to Hidden Valley Bunker Level 1. Welcome to hell. Ooh, another staircase. Let's go down it. And then the for duck and cover. Here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? Who the fuck are you? Uh, <laughs> this guy is dressed in, uh, fucking, uh, oh, power armor, which looks like giant fucking <laughs> knight armor on steroids. I want that. So I'll speak to your elder, lead the way. I appear to be lost. I'll just head back the way I came in. I'm not going anywhere with you. Well, let's speak to the Elder, see what I can get out of him before I kill him. Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. Or you'll be shot. He sounds like he wants a missile in his head. I mean, after whatever we're doing, but you know what I mean. We were stripped naked. 
We're in some sort of, like, office space with a futuristic-looking desk. Like, actual futuristic-looking. <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit on the steampunk side, but still, it's pretty fucking hardcore. There's a guy, elderly-looking guy in some robes holding a fucking laser rifle. Well, not holding it, but he's got it sheathed on his back. Nice little podium over there. They got maps going around, zooming in different places. And this weird symbol that has a sword with a bunch of gears surrounded by wings of some sort. So basically he's like futuristic power metal type person. Yeah, pretty much. Let's go talk to this elder guy. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's barking. I know. Elder Mechdemer. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. I was just exploring the area and noticed your patrol coming out of here. Or it was a complete accident, I swear. Uh, well, we did kind of just stumble into it, so... Accident or no, we both now find ourselves in an uncomfortable situation. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Uh, do you no. mean kill? No, we've been stripped completely naked. <laughs> We're walking around nothing but our underwear. <laughs> well, good good thing they left that on. The, the aliens weren't even that nice. Yeah. You didn't see that. It was it was, it was in the Jesus fuck uh, off game. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck was abducted by aliens. It just wasn't in the game. I can take care of the ranger. Why haven't you killed the ranger already? Or, no, I'm, I don't do murder for hire. Why haven't you killed the ranger already? Yes, we could kill him easily enough. But sometimes you can learn a great deal by observing people. Both enemies and friends. Which is why it will be very interesting to observe how you choose to deal with the situation. And decide which you are. Enemy or friend. Do we understand one another? So if we refuse, he's going to kill us. Well, we're naked in the middle of this place. <laughs> they all got a bunch of fucking power weapons. Energy weapons. They all have power armor, except for these guys in robes, which look like the robes themselves are armored. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley, until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. No, not this again. Motherfucker. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Did he say paladin? Yes. Someone's played too many role-playing games. I know. <laughs> paladin? Oh, here's all our oh. shit. We're wearing the explosive collar once more. Oh, God. <laughs> you realize what this means, right? People are going to die. If if you, I mean, if you just asked me nicely, maybe I would have said yeah. But because you're forcing me to do it, you've made your own damn bed. Understood. Besides, these people sound like militant hippies. Militant hippies. I mean, I kind of like the kind of power metal kind of, you know, sword thing, but. Because, unlike Jim, I love fucking power metal. I understand I this. Let's take the door back to Hidden Valley. 
So, I like some of their things, like their swords and shit, and their whole, you know, robes, but they just sound annoying. So we're gonna kill an NTR guy. If you wanna kill him, you can also talk to him. Mm. We gotta go through the bunker here a bit. I think we pretty much eradicated everything. Will killing slash talking have any kind of effect on if we live or die? Well, if we go too far out of the bunker, the fucking thing will blow Yeah, but up. I mean, like, okay, if we kill them, will they decide that we should die or something? Or I'll save it before we decide. Keeping fucking secrets from me. Because I, I honestly have never killed this guy. Except on my all kill run, but then I went right back in and started shooting people. We killed him! Now you die too! So you want me to just kill him, not even talk? No, we can talk to him. Okay, I'll put my grenade away for now. You live for now, son. Jesus, Don't you sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Oh, oh hell no. Hey, you, you did not just fucking call me that. Keep pointing that gun at me and I'll stick it up your ass. <laughs> or I'm not a powder ganger. <laughs> Keep pointing that gun at me and I'll stick it up your ass. Huh. Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? He called who me a powder game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> who, who am I? Yeah, who are you? Yeah. Dobson's my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Redding man by birth, though. What are you doing here? Yeah. What's he doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working. And a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. So no one knows you're here? <laughs> yeah. Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other Rangers, but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not going to lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio. But it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. This seems like a bad location for a safe house. You have to get out of here. Which one? It seems like a bad location for a safe house. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? Because there's armed fucking people who know you exist, dumbass. He doesn't know that. Yeah, but that, that's what I'd say if I was there. You can lie and say powder gangers use these bunkers as hideouts once or twice a month. Or say, not sure, just feels bad. Powder gangers. You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. Yes. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently. But I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. Aw, we're nice. Do you want them dead still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was pointless. <laughs> That was fucking pointless. <laughs> we convinced him to leave peacefully. Yeah. You like that? Dobson got blown into parts. <laughs> that was. Evil. We convince him to leave. Now we will convince him to be eaten. 
He leaves. <laughs> Get out of here. There's fire gangers here. Okay. Thanks for the info. Boom. 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 How did you throw? Three. <laughs> we'll take his hat. Some blood sausage just ripping out his organs. I don't think the Brotherhood's going to care, will they? I mean... No, they're not. Uh, I was kind of lying whenever I said it. Never did it before. Yeah, well, I mean, I just want to make sure because I don't want to, you know, have the collar explode. Yeah, I know. We've had that happen a few times. Yes. <laughs> You're no use to me. <laughs> oh, my head. Back to Hidden Valley we go. Do -do -do -do. See, Jesus Fox learned something from the Think Tank. He's learned how to make decisions. <laughs> Yes, he's made decisions. He now knows... He he has the concept of an idea, though he cannot explain an idea. Yes. Uh, that was brutal. We, we just threw the makeshift microfusion grenades at him that, like, we crafted with our mad bomber perk. It's like, oh, yeah, God, that, took, that took forever, you crafting all that shit. Yeah. I'm not crafting all the food, too. Yeah, I know. But I get why you're doing it, and I'm not blaming. Actually, you know what? I am blaming you. It's all your fault, Jim. Whatever is your fault, it's all your fault. All right, back inside we go. Dressed in our suit and bomb did, collar again. Did you see again. that? We, we, we did a thing. I should take this bomb collar off. If, um, what if it explodes? Look, we're just gonna come right back inside now. Fuck you. We're reading another locksmith reader. We're getting inside this door. I don't care. <laughs> we're picking your door again. That's what you get if for You're not gonna us. fucking leave it open. We're picking the lock. Yeah, right? I mean. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That was pretty awesome, though. Yeah. You, you need to leave the powder gangers. Oh my god. Going down further into this mechanized looking bunker with a bunch of steel everywhere. Opening up these mechani mechanized doors. So who are these people? There's a guy carrying an invisible gun walking around naked. These, this is the Brotherhood of Steel. Like I said, they have some part aspects I like. The power metal imagery, but... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we killed the guy for you. We took care of him. And we picked the lock to get back in here. Yeah, we took care of him. Why the hell are you just walking there? How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? The ranger won't be a problem. He's dead. Yes. How do you know he won't be missed? That other rangers won't come looking for him? Or NCR patrols? Did you just make matters worse? Because he, he told, told us no himself that... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he told me himself no one knew he was here. Indeed he did. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. Had you told him the location of this bunker, for example... Well, let's just say we wouldn't be having this conversation. Given the circumstances, termination was the best option. So your actions demonstrated loyalty, good judgment, and prowess in combat. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it, and there will be no mercy. Let's use these idiots. Let's let's use these people like puppets on a string. Marionettes on a string, I should say. Let's let's get whatever we can from these morons. And then when we've got what we could, take no prisoners. But let's work with them for now. 
Okay, we will do that. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Oh, we'll help you. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I'll begin looking immediately. Surely have better people suited for this. Or I have better things to do. Eh. We'll look when it suits us. We'll begin looking immediately, but we don't have to look right now. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Alright, I mean, we, we, we can look whenever you want, you know, it's, it's... Yeah, we're gonna put this off for a while. Yeah. But it's just, so, it's nice to... You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? I'm sorry, whatever he says paladin, I just, I burst out laughing. <laughs> just, it just sounds so damn, you know. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Why would I trust you? No, I won't listen to you. I want to listen to what he says. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. So you want us to kill him? How do you propose we do that? Yeah. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? Sure, we'll think about it. That'll I mean, have to do. We... I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Well, you're gonna die anyway, so we might as well, you know, whatever. Help I mean, you. <laughs> help you then kill you. Yes. 
it's so pointless, but we want you to be happy and, and like us before we send a bullet into your brain. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to leave this place. We'll come back okay. and do this whole thing another time. Yeah. Just I just wanted it. to introduce you to them. Oh, wait. There was one other thing we wanted to do while we were here. We will do one quick mission for them. Okay. Paladins. Scribes. Paladin and scribe and initiate. Someone someone found a copy of fucking Dungeons and Dragons and went, oh. They have a bunch of turrets in here, too. It's great. So what's their mission? I mean, what's, what's their shtick? They collect technology to save humanity from itself. Ugh. All glory to the toaster. If he heard, if he heard everything, then he heard us go. Yeah, you, you, you can go. You can go, go, go quickly. Kill him. Hi, girl. We just pickpocketed a key off of around this corner. How's it going? The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. That's the same girl who plays Sunny Smiles. Anything I can help you with? Anything I can help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. Okay, I want to see the decapitation, but okay. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Give me some fucking power armor and we'll talk, bitch. Hello. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. <laughs> do you know anything about a weapon that's gone missing? Weapon that's gone missing. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. I'm allowed to use the range? <laughs> yes. Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. That's okay. Bye. Bye. Nice little well, I mean, pack dummies they got here that you can shoot at. Yeah, but I prefer live targets. Yeah. Evening. Yes, can I help you? This is Initiate Stanton. You're the one to check out the missing laser pistol, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice, but before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Fine, I'll find the gun. Why do the records show that the gun was turned back in? Yeah, I want to know why the records show the gun was turned back in. Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That <laughs> girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. I like Watkins. I don't know who she is, but I, I like that. Just alter the records, fuck it. No one's gonna know. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. You'll be on the dead, too. Yes, the dead. But I like that Watkins. It's like, yeah, go ahead and alter the record, fuck it. Yeah, let's go <laughs> find a stupid gun. Yay, find stupid gun. Find stupid bitch, too. Find stupid bitch. You yes. already found one. Oh, the, oh, the other stupid bitch. Uh-huh. No one said fucking alter the records. Okay. 
That's okay. yeah, but come on, it's awesome. It's never gonna work, but I admire oh, the. Oh, uh... excellent! We found a toilet. Uh. Come on, do it, do it. Fine, I'll do it in first person mode. <laughs> he drink out the toilet. <laughs> Perfectly good toilet to drink out of. That's why the girl died in the very beginning. Yeah, <laughs> she gave us water in a glass instead of out of the toilet. Yep. She would have lived, she would have just given us a toilet. <laughs> That's the way he thinks. <laughs> Back you? here. Who the hell are you and why should I care? Ah, oh, you're just a random initiate. Okay. We're looking for a specific bitch we wish to talk to. Uh, has anyone seen the specific bitch? Yeah. The Swatkins. As long as it's not Ian Watkins. It's at night. This room. Oh, they're doctor. Evening. Hello, doctor. Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Thank you. Can you heal my radiation? We always make sure to keep an ample supply of rat away. Most of us haven't had the exposure outsiders like you take for granted. Here we go. You'll be rad free in no time. Awesome. Thanks, Linda. How may I assist you? Die for me. Die for me. Spontaneously yes. combust. Spontaneously combust. Where the fuck is this bitch at? God, why they have to be so hard to find? Uh, nice little fucking cafeteria here. Lovely. So I'm guessing they wouldn't like me singing War is All We Know really loud. War, war is all we know. I'm guessing they might, you know... Get angry, maybe. Yeah. And then, you know, kill the hippies by the dead Oh, bitch. there she is. Yeah? What's with all the computers? <laughs> We're the computers? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. You said yeah. anymore. <laughs> Did the Brotherhood used to go out more? Yes, by the way, that's pathetic. Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Oh, okay, we'll forget you mentioned the Helio. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in school or something? <laughs> yeah. Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. I don't want to know. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe, and my mother a paladin. Are your parents somewhere? <laughs> yes, where are your parents, little girl? They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that. But afterward, they became my family in truth. That's pathetic. You're pathetic. I don't like you anymore. 
Initiate Stanton told me about your little adventure the other day. Yes, he did. That was so much fun. The wind whipping through our hair, not knowing what was going to jump out at us at any moment. And when those scorpions came out, it was just like The Sims. All I had to do was line them up and then squeeze the trigger. I doubt I'll be able to get Stanton to go with me again, though. I thought he'd enjoy it as much as I did, but he was just scared the whole time. Don't tell him I told you this, but when those scorpions surrounded us, I'd bet a week's rations he pissed himself. He sounds like a pud and she sounds like a preppy. Bye. Hey, Stanton! Guess what Watkins said about you? <laughs> You pissed yourself, huh? Okay. No, I didn't. I just crapped my pants. I mean... <laughs> uh, if only we here, could be in charge of these people. Let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. What's your point, kid? So you're head of security? So you're head of security? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Mm. Want to know why you had to deal with the ranger top side? <laughs> yes, I want to know that. Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction. But the Elder thought it provided a good test for you. So I backed off. He's on the menu now. What are exactly the rules for entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. It's kind of a dick thing to do. Mm-hmm. Fine by me. What would an elder have to do to get kicked out? Yes, I want to know that. So, you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to use Sir McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helio. <laughs> I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See senior scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Tell me about what happened at Helios. Tell me! Tell me! I'm sure someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios One solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the Elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for. Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and led what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. Would you like to see Brother Elijah? <laughs> yeah. No, no, by now you'd have to shit him out. Oh, <laughs> sec, there might be some of his DNA left in there. Who was Elijah more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios One, he was like a kid in a candy store. He kept talking about the potential, and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. We know who Elijah is. Bye. We, um... Kind of ate him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I so wish you could tell him that. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Elijah said hi. 
Yes, he was delicious. Oh, let's see here. Let's switch to more explosives. We'll use frag grenades. Holy frag! <laughs> Going outside and <laughs> dressed in our suit. Ah, uh, we can leave. There's a nice little dust storm going on. And it's all completely localized. There's a fucking patrol out here somewhere. I'm not gonna find them. Instead, I'm just gonna go to Scorpion Gulch. <laughs> where those kids were Bye, talking about. Uh oh, there we go. There's the missing laser pistol. Ooh, who's this? Uh, this is a dead wastelander. We already ate him. Uh, let's return with the missing pistol. That was easy. Mm hmm. Uh, My dust storm. It is a glorious little dust storm. I like it. Hail, hail to the dust storm. Those uh, in backyard, whenever we had sand all over our backyards, that was fun. Dog, my dogs used to be like, "What the hell is that? Why is the dirt moving?" Well, at least I left the door open this time instead of locking it behind us. That's I mean, we true. could have tried talking on the intercom saying the job is done, but we decided to pick the lock instead. Yeah, why would you do the, in the intercom? What, you know. Whenever you could just pick the lock. Yeah. We need a lock pick maxed out. So we don't have to do the lock meter or anything. Mitsu, doesn't it? Have you found it? I need to give my report to Harden soon. No, bitch. I mean, yeah. Oh, thank God. Harden was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. What is it? She gave us a tri-beam laser rifle. Yay, we have another laser rifle. Couldn't our give us some like... always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Couldn't give us like, you know, something we don't have yet, you know? Not that I'm ungrateful, just... You know. Yeah. Warrior of the a bunch line. of fucking <laughs> weapon modifiers. Okay. All designed for fucking energy weapons. Might as well. We have some energy weapons. They got some fucking combat armor here. Some. Ooh, they got two fat mans for sale, but we already got one. Something oh, called Grease Light Sting. I love Ooh, a riot shotgun. We'll take that. <laughs> Thirty-four, almost thirty-five thousand caps. <laughs> For what? To get what we just purchased. Thanks. We could never do that in the, the fucking Later. without the cheats. Yeah, we could. It would just take fucking forever. Oh, I'm over encumbered. By how much? We don't need. We we don't have a pack meal. No, we don't. I know how to fix this. How? I'll drink a whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> this nice man dressed in a You're suit. Being watched, so don't get any ideas. Shut up. Just gonna get out of here now. We're done for now. We'll be back to destroy. I mean, help you. Yes, we will be back to help you. <laughs> Whenever we well, damn well feel like it. Yes. And then after we're done helping you, and when you have nothing else to do, we will end you. 
All right. Uh, Dust storm still raging. Mm-hmm. And uh, where are we going? I think this is a good place to call it for now. All right. Goodbye, peoples. Watch the dust storm. <laughs>